Social media is kind of a huge deal, so this is kind of toward Dean. Sorry, Roman. I still like you. Yeah, Dean! <laughs> well, no, no, no. You tweet. Dean doesn't tweet. You have a Twitter account. It has over 200,000 followers. You've only retweeted one thing ever. <laughs> why don't you tweet more? Or why don't you just, like, tweet once in a while? In a blue moon? You don't have anything to say? I don't, I don't, I don't like Twitter. <laughs> you don't like any social media. I mean, it's, it's what it, the world is now. Everybody does it instead. I just can't imagine the morning that I wake up and go, you know who's a pain I want here today? Everybody in the freaking universe. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like, I don't care. <laughs> well, your fans care. <laughs> I bet you'll break the internet today if you tweet. Because you haven't tweeted since 2012. Oh, well, just stay tuned then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hashtag morning. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, Lily or Dad, who do you guys want to have on your screen with? And why? That's a good question. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll give you a living hand, Dad. Uh, if you ask me this question tomorrow, I'll give you probably a completely different answer. Like, just depending on what way the wind is blowing, because I would have like a million dream matches. Like, living, I would say probably, uh, probably against Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, Next year. Next year. Be great on a stage like that one day, that would be uh, the biggest personal challenge. Right, and, you know, guys that know me so well. And uh, sure. dead, on um, any day you can get any answer from me, I'll say today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cactus Jack. Just the how the wind is blowing is we just look at his back. Segments in TV time. I would. I'd be yeah, see there he goes. I'd be down for the triple threat. Uh, the shield triple threat. Yeah. You guys have been in wrestling. Roman has been like wrestling actively for a couple of years, and Dean has been in the independence for a really long time. Yep. And you guys have wrestled everybody. You guys in the Shield alone uh, fought against Dean O'Brien, The Undertaker, Kane. And singles, you guys have fought John Cena, Randy Orton. Who's your favorite person you've ever mixed it up in the ring with and why? Um, that's another question that has like a hundred answers, you know what I mean? There's no really long answer to it, but like, um, I mean, just to get into a few examples, uh, Dan Bryan's always, uh, Amazing to be in the ring with because it's just so good and it's just so much pure fun and the audience is always so crazy with the yes and stuff. So I mean it's it's, it's just pure fun being in the ring with him and uh, you know, and, and being in the ring with John Cena is always really fun because you know you love him or hate him or whatever. You think about it. just being in the ring with him, the crowd is always electric when he's in the ring, whether they're but whenever Jared or whatever it is. So it's always just really fun just to be in, be in the ring with him. And then, you know, being in the ring was, I love wrestling with Seth Rollins because it's just, we know each other so well. We've had so many battles over the years that it's like uh, this really complicated game of chess by this point because we know moves, counters to each other's counters, you know what I mean? So just, uh, and that's always a challenge. I mean, there's a million, yeah, being in the adults table is great. 
Luke Harper, who I'm facing tomorrow night. I, I love uh, going up against Luke Harper because it's always just an absolute fist fight war. Just butt heads, you know, I like that. So, I mean, there's a million answers. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a very, very tight knit group that we have. Uh, it's like a fraternity, you know what I mean? We're, we're, there's not many people that, uh, you know, have the opportunity or could do what we get to do. And, uh, you know, DB, uh, I feel like, you know, the, when I was wrestling against him for a month or so, there's a lot of cool things, you know, just even like, you know, just talking to him and then promo segments and things like that. Uh, I enjoy doing that. I thought uh, I was able to grow a lot, you know, in that regard. Um, Brock, you know, uh, it, if you saw it, it was what it was. It was extremely physical. I, you know, I have a physical background, you know, being a football player. Um, so I, I really dug that. I really enjoyed that physicality. But for me, and I, you know, it's kind of a, a weird thing because I'm going to kick his ass tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> I can kill the giant, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, you, you can probably find a lot of dudes like me and Dean and, you know, athletes and things like that, but I, you don't meet giants very often, and, and we keep one, you know, he, he's back in the back, walking around, you know, being a giant all the time, so, <laughs> for me, I thought that was pretty neat, uh, my dad was a, just, he loved Andre the Giant, he just, you know, great friends, really kind to him all the time, and had nothing but the best to say about him, and uh, I, I think it's cool that, in, you know, my life and our generation, we have one as well, so, you know, we, uh, we're not going to have them, you know, forever, so hopefully one day we'll be able to uh, fill his shoes, the big humongous shoes. Yeah. I love wrestling the big show. It's fun because he just, uh, you just, you stand there and he just grabs you by the ankle. And just <laughs> <laughs> are you hitting on me? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So first, I just wanted to say, uh, Roman, your sleep looks awesome. All you wanted to do that was about absolutely sleep. Thank you. Um, but my question that I have, um, I see a lot of people um, like they compare you guys to previous legends in the business. Dean, I've heard people compare you to Jake Roberts or Stone Cold in the way you cut promos and personality. Who do you two draw influences from in the way your, your character kind of takes form and the way your moves are set up? Is there anybody that really inspired you to reach where you are now? Uh, I watched so much wrestling from so many different uh, eras and so many different parts of the world. And I've been so obsessed with this for so long and uh, just studied so much wrestling that uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm sure rubs off. You know, I never looked at one person and said, oh, I'm try to pattern myself out with this guy. Or, and it, it, I go, you know, depending on which way the bang is blowing in the wind, I might make a flu the next night. I just gotta go by my mood. Good at the way I wrestle, the way, the way I talk. You know, if I'm in a bad mood, you're gonna get an interview or I'm in a bad mood. If I'm in a happy mood, you're gonna get an interview or I'm in a happy mood. You know, I don't try to like put myself in a box to like try to be like anybody else was. You know, I just kind of go go with the flow. You know, I mean, and then sometimes I just blatantly rip off stuff from people. <laughs> but the key is you gotta find, you know, really obscure people to rip stuff off from and claim it's original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I've been in, uh, you know, part of the WWE my whole life as just a little guy, and, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to see a lot of, you know, professional wrestlers, you know, on camera and, and you know, behind the scenes, how they really are and how they carry themselves. Uh, but I, you know, that was that's one thing I mean, I've never really gotten into is being the next because this is this is the first Dean Ambrose, this is the first Roman Reigns, and that's all you know. That's all we can be. That's all we want to be. So that being said, you know, there, there's so many different ways to pick up on things and get ideas, movies, you know, different, you know, comic book movies. I, I pull a lot from uh, the, you know, the comic book movies, uh, Thor, you know, all those different uh, characters, you know, like, I uh, I think our roster nowadays, it's, it's not like back in the day, it's not like the 80s and all that. Now it's like, we're just kind of ourselves, but ramped up a bit. But I think uh, what's so special about the WWE is, 
we're kind of all superheroes. We're all, you know, these crazy characters, these crazy personalities that all come together, and, and we're all fighting over the same thing, the WWE Championship. So I think, uh, you know, and, with all the, uh, the differences that we all have, it's a bit of a melting pot that makes for uh, magic. Thank you. Congratulations on being the top guys in the company right now. Um, but so going back to NXT, do you think something from NXT that you wish could kind of bring over to how Raw or SmackDown runs? Is there something that you guys miss from being on NXT that you don't feel like it's presently like with you guys in the ring these days? And I like the way that they're uh, just a symbol wrestling show, which those guys get a little bit, uh, you know, they're finding their, you know, finding their own niche and stuff. So they got a little bit more freedom to experiment than a lot of guys on, uh, on like Raw SmackDown doing. I like, uh, I like. I like the simple hour-long wrestling show format and as a fan, and, uh, but we have a three-hour entertainment program soap opera thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of a different product. You know, but, uh, I like concepts of that, just like simple old-school wrestling show that I think sometimes we're missing on, right. on Raw and SmackDown because stuff gets so entertainment-y yeah. you know, that sometimes I think very back a bit, but uh, you know, that's one thing. I love NXT. Uh, I still, if I can, I, I watch as much as possible. Um, that you know, that was a jump start. Talking to was, you guys for two seconds. There's no NXT, no me, and uh, I think what we're missing from NXT is a whole bunch of talented wrestlers that are going to come up here, and we're we're going to battle it out. So uh, that that's the uh, the thing. NXT is.